Hi, I'm here with Bunny of Kosagi with his Novena Open Hardware Laptop. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so this here is a laptop that uh, we design ourselves. It's all open hardware. Uh, from the motherboard to the case to all the peripherals, uh, you can go ahead and download the source for you know the schematics, design files of the board, the case. It runs Linux, and so it's very open, very hackable. It has um, inside of here it has like an array of mounting bosses. So if you want to go ahead and add your own circuit board to it, it's super easy. You don't have to like glue something in or do something awful to your to your laptop to, to do it. Uh, all the laptops will will ship with this. This is what we call the port farm. This is actually a removable sheet. And we want to ship it with the blank ones. If you actually want to make your own boards, you can just go ahead and cut holes in it and do that sort of thing. So it, you know, we designed it to be as, as easy to mod and hack as possible. There's an FPGA on the inside, for example. And, and so the FPGA allows you to do things like uh, we have a general purpose breakout board, which you know, can go ahead and uh, break out a lot of GPIOs. You can go ahead and drive motors with it. We have what's called a Romulator here. We have it shown deployed. It's actually the Flex PCB is a Romulator, but this is like a USB memory stick. Okay. And we've gone ahead and soldered in the Romulator right underneath the TSOP ROM. So as you go ahead and plug this in and does transactions, you can go ahead and see all the tra transactions going by. You can log them inside the FPGA. Uh, or you can also go ahead and hook up, for example, data acquisition cards. So here is a 100 megahertz 16-bit uh, ADC card that we have that plugs into the same slot that all these others do. Uh, not shown here, I don't have one right now, is that we have a software-defined radio peripheral as well that actually, because we hit our stretch goals, everyone who's backing the system level pieces get a software fine radio as well. Well, that's fantastic. Now, with all these add-ons, you must have a lot of pins broken out. Do you know how many? There's a lot of pins. It's, a, it's, a, it's an 80-pin connector. Uh, I think it's like uh, 20 differential pairs and like 10 or 12 like single-ended pairs. So Now, as far as uh, like the mechanical design for case and all that stuff, um, how long do you think you spent on that, and do you have other people helping, or is this all you? Um, so the, the, uh, there's two guys who work on this, right? So there's Zobs, who's not standing here with me. He does, the, he does all the firmware, the Linux, and that sort of stuff. I do all the hardware, so I, I did the board design and the case design myself. Uh, this iteration of the case, we started in January, and we had prototypes in March. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too bad to do the mechanical design in the case. Um, and the circuit boards took a lot longer. Uh, we worked on those for about maybe like a year before we had something that we thought was really stable and good and, 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 and something we could like get out there. Well, that's great. Uh, thank you so much for showing this off today. I also wanted to say thank you for being a judge on the Hackaday Prize. Yeah, yeah. Um, we really appreciate how much you support um, open design, both hardware and software. Yeah, great. Thanks. Thank I'm looking you. forward to it. All right. See you around.